YOLO! That's what my client Andy, a pharmacist from Oregon, always tells me, man. He's my YOLO guy. He's looking for some high-risk value-add type stuff. And I got a quad right here that I think will fit the bill. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You guys are watching Holton Wise TV, right? This is... Our show on Holton Weiss TV, we work with you guys one-on-one -on -one to help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, okay? And my client today, the man of the hour, pharmacist from Oregon, is my man, Andy. Andy, you're a younger cat. You're getting involved in the real estate game. You're always telling me, man, go big or go home, dude. You're looking to to find some stuff that is undervalued. It's not being managed appropriately. needs a little bit of repairs. we got tenants paying a small amount of rent. So I thought that this bad boy would be perfect for you. It exactly fits that bill. I just analyzed this for another client. He sent it to me. And uh, shockingly, he sent it to me to get my take on it. And I'm like, yo. That's a good deal, dude. Let's do the deal. Uh, but for whatever reason, he decided, you know, he changed his mind. He didn't want to do the deal. Hey, that's cool, guys. No judgment. It's your money. I will give you my unbiased advice. If I think the deal is crap, I'll tell you the deal's crap. But if I think the deal's good, I'll tell you the deal's good. But hey, if you don't want to do the deal, even though I told you it's good, don't worry. You ain't going to offend me, guys. It's an a la carte service here at Holton Wise. You pay to, you know, you pay as you go. So I'm not offended. I'm here doing what you hired me to do, which is to give you guys my opinion. Ultimately, it's your money. It's your portfolio. I would never want you guys to buy something if you don't feel comfortable making that move. So he didn't want to do the deal. I thought that this might make sense for you, Andy, with your YOLO mentality. So I want you to take a look at that footage now. 4404 Bush Avenue, listed a little over a month ago. It was under contract, then it fell out, right? It's a four-unit apartment building. Now, they have the rent roll listed on the screen for us, 530, 500, 545, 496. One of these tenants has just moved out, okay? I believe it's uh, either this, this one at 400 or this one at 496. Very possible that it could be the one at 530. I'm like 99% sure it's not the one at 545, right? Because they said it was one of the older long-term tenants. The listing agent wasn't exactly clear on which tenant moved out, but we know we have one vacancy, okay? So we're going to need to do a turnover renovation, and then based upon the photos, I saw a couple other things we're going to need to do. Uh, but we're not going to have too, too much time to, to think about this deal. This one is going to move quick, man, because 125 k for a duplex in this neighborhood, that's a, that's a great price, right? We have updated electrical there, but we have some panels here and here that are going to need to be addressed, all right? So half of the electrical is upgraded, half of it's not. Got a couple of the units, then you got some hot water tanks. They all look to be, you know, mid to newer, right? Maybe one was kind of old, uh, but other than that, Nothing major, okay? So, we have the electrical issue, and we have one of the four units is going to be totally vacant when you get it. So, what I think we need to do, guys, is I think you guys need to jump on this at 125. You're probably going to end up in a bidding war, to be honest with you. So, 125, and then I've calculated $12,000 of repairs. Now, that $12,000 is going to be... 10,000 allocated toward one of the empty units. We're not 100% clear on which unit is empty at this time, and we don't have any photos other than, like, that random bathroom, right? Uh, so we have some unknowns, but that's the thing when you find a deal like this, guys. You guys did a very good job. You found a very good deal. Uh, we can't just go back and ask the listing agent a million questions, right? We're going to need to make our offer full price, and we're going to need to make it contingent on home inspection. And we'll be able to, you know, put together some details once we get further in the due diligence process. But what we need to do now, what you guys' job is right now, is to get this sucker under contract, because that's a hell of a deal, right? So I'm anticipating you'll be all into this deal for 137 but 
Long term, what's that going to look like? It's going to look like $2,300 a month in rent, $27,600 a year, right? Because each of these one-bedroom units is really a $575 unit. Now, back to this on the screen, all right? You see here, they're, they're old rent roll. Three of these four are still going to be there when you acquire it. $496, $500, 400 530 To my understanding, the $400 tenant and the $496 tenant, those were tenants that were there for like at least five to ten years, okay? One of them I'm pretty sure is gone. But you got to understand, like some of these super low rents, what you get, you get a lot of mom and pop landlords that they'll put tenants in there many years ago and because the tenants don't cause them any issues they just leave their rent as it is now i'm not saying that's the worst business decision right my goal is always to keep butts in the units but that said four hundred dollars i wouldn't want you to do due diligence on this building assuming you're renting four hundred dollar units because you're not because you're renting $575 units, right? So when this thing is fully cooking, fully bringing in that money, guys, $2,300 a month comes in. I anticipate you spending almost twelve, dollars leaving you with an average performance anticipation of eleven oh eight on a $137,000 investment. That's a 9.7 cap and a 19.8% cash on cash return when you finance it. And remember, guys, when you finance it and you're trying to calculate your cash on cash returns, you take your NOI minus your mortgage costs, right? Your net cash flow after mortgage, which in this case is expected to perform at around 8,500 a year. You divide that by your upfront costs, which in this case was our $31,250 down payment plus that $12,000 in renovations, which in this case is, remember, me allocating $10,000 towards that vacant unit because I don't have any information on that vacant unit. So I'm going to base that on assuming we need to just go and do everything. Paint, walls, floors, kitchen, bath to get that thing Section 8 ready, bringing in that 575 And then I've allocated an extra $2,000 because I saw a couple beautiful, pretty upgraded electric panels. But then I saw some ugly old duds, right? So I think those are going to need to be addressed, guys. So... 20% cash on cash return is very close to what this thing's going to kick off. I love the neighborhood. You two did a great job of picking out this property. Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. This is on the west side of town. This is a neighborhood that I anticipate is going to see some positive uh, growth and positive direction after, you know, it receives all of the uh, benefit and reaction of that $1 billion investment that Metro Health is committed to putting into that neighborhood. More information on that is in the show notes below. All right, Andy, let me know your thoughts, brother. Do you want to make a move on this or do you want uh, to move on to other investments? You just let me know in the private email. And if you want to make a move, we will get that offer in for you immediately. Because like I said before, I fully anticipate a bidding war. Everyone else out there, if you're watching today's show and you're interested in working with me in the same way Andy has been doing, just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include your phone number. A member of my staff will give you a call and walk you through the process. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.